Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so on my nails, this is Color Club um, Foxy Mama. So it's got a nice shimmer in it. So, and it's orange, so I figured, hey, it's kind of Halloween. Um, we're gonna do some stamping. And this is Born Pretty Halloween L005. So I thought it was kind of cute. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I have this black mirror powder and I've had it for eons. I think... I bought it from eBay back in the day. I'm not a hundred percent sure because I've had it for that long. But I wanted to stamp and then kind of put this black mirror polish on it. I don't know. I was going to do hollow, but I'm like, no, I've done hollow. I want to try something different. Okay, so we are going to use... I'm going to try, since I'm putting some powder on it, I'm going to do the sticky sheer black. So, because once I put the powder on, it should be darker. So we'll see how it, how it is. And this is from She Modern, by the way. And I think I got everything. Hang on one sec. Okay, so this black mirror powder is that I don't know I just thought it would be kind of cool so well, let's see how it go how it looks if it doesn't look okay then whoopsie <laughs> okay so I'm gonna figure out the best way I want this image so I'm just gonna do it that way Oh, stamper. I'm like, where did it go? So let's try it on my thumb first. It's kind of cute. Let's put a hat on that side. I had a little bare spot. So. Off this. I don't need that anymore. Okay. So I'm just gonna tap it on. So the sheer's not too bad, like it's sheer sheer, but it's like not as bright as like black, but it's still bright enough. I can see it. So I'm just putting powder on and I'm not really using a lot. I mean, it pretty much um, gives me enough that I can put on. So hopefully I'm within frame. Yeah, I think I I was trying to be conscious of that. Ugh. I got something stuck to me. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. It's kind of. So that worked well. I kind of like it. I've been trying to go through my stuff and figure, okay, <laughs> to kind of use things that I haven't used before. So that was one of them. Let's
kind of aim where I want. And off that. And then I'll take my powder. I just kind of wanted a different effect than from the hollow. So this is super easy to do. So this um, the sticky polish is from She Modern. Um, if you're in the U.S., um, I do have a discount code. Unfortunately, she's only shipping to within the U.S. I'm in Canada, so it kind of. Ah, I'm hoping shortly she will expand her shipping. So fingers crossed. Hint, hint. <laughs> so let's go into the next one. So I'm just kind of, um, I was watching Galene 3 d 5 and she was talking about um, images that are more open and how to avoid getting holes is to kind of scrub the polish on. So I figured that sometimes I'll get um, voids. So I thought I'll try it. It actually works pretty good. I haven't really got any voids there. So that was a good tip. So thank you, Galine 325 you're not following her, you should. She's a super nice lady. See, I'm, I'm learning too. I learn stuff all the time. And I figured I'd, I'd share it with you. I was thinking afterwards, um, I should have put um, glue in the powder like glow in the dark underneath but I have a fish tank so um, hubby has saltwater fish so in the evening before the lights go out um, it goes he has a blue light on it I'm sure you've seen videos where where of the puppies or whatever and kind of wondered why it's all tinted blue well that's why um, so, um, the orange will really glow nicely and I have a black light, so I'll try and take pictures, um, of this in the black light. It'll look kind of cool. I'm sure with the orange. So yeah, I'm, I've had my black light for like a fluorescent light and I've got it hanging underneath one of my um, my polish racks I got it at uh, Canadian Tire we call it crappy tire but <laughs> but um, yeah so it, it's kind of cool I, I like using it at Halloween time and for some reason I haven't really done a whole lot of Halloween looks have I this year I've kind of slacked on them we don't have much time left, so I'm like, I better, do, I better do some. So, so I'm really not using more polish than I normally would. I, I like by scrubbing it in. I'm just moving it around. So, so yeah, it seems to work. So I haven't really had too many issues with. So nothing um, too hard to do, just a super simple mani, but I figured if I was going to do a mani, I might, I might as well kind of show you what I'm doing. So put that on before I knock that over. Mm-hmm. 
There we go. Okay, so I need to clean up around my edges. So what I always do is before I take a piece of tape and then just go round on my skin and then once I'm done that then if I need to I will go in with a little brush and some acetone. So let me clean up and then we will be back in a moment. Okay, a moment. Okay, so I've tap coated and um, I still have to put cuticle oil on, but uh, I will be doing that as soon as um, I'm dry. Uh, but there you have it. Some cute little Halloween nails. And um, I kind of like this, um, this black mirror powder. It, um, yeah, super easy to use. And it's pretty much just like a pigment powder. Um, except it's black. I think um, if you're using gel and um, on a no wipe top coat, you could probably get it super, super shiny, almost like a chrome. But um, I, I'm I haven't used it in years. If I so, but um, yeah. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for swatch photos and of course puppies and. Um, Thanks for hanging out with me while I do my nails. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. And um, yeah, love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. Bye. What you doing? <laughs> She's excited it's bedtime. Right? Don't jump down. Oh, Daisy. Get up. No, no, go up the stairs. Up, up, up. Up, up. Good girl. No pep. <laughs> Pizza like.